If you're using one of our display uh, modules or if you have a product from us where you are developing software yourself and you want to add graphics to the displays, we have a great online solution for you so you can convert uh, any image to the grayscale bitmap and format it in the right way for you to copy paste into the Arduino code. This can be used also with code from Adaf uh, or with the uh, Adafruit uh, displays. They have a graphical library which is uh, what we use uh, in the foundation of our libraries. Um, so basically it's a graphic converter that will also help you if you're using Adafruit displays. And uh, it's an online tool where you upload a graphics file, tell the output dimensions and get the Arduino code. One of the products that we use a lot of displays in is um, <clears throat> this CCU controller where we have NKK smart displays which are uh, 64 by 32 pixels. Here we have OLED displays, 28, 128 times 32 pixels an OLED rocker switch over here. So uh, for this unit we are actually using, um, right now it's just running some demo code, as you can see the display is freaking out here, but otherwise we uh, have a lot of graphics integrated in this whole system when it's running its, its uh, real software. But in this demonstration I'll just um, focus on um, this uh, small display, so I hope you can, you can see the details. Uh, on the display as we upload software to the display. Um, maybe let's just uh, quickly look at what we currently have uh, in the sketch. Actually in the sketch for um, this one we already do have some code uh, with a, an S. This defines an S. Uh, it is 16 by 16 pixels and you can sort of from the uh, ones and zeros see where the the turned on pixels will be. So a one is a pixel turned on, a zero is a pixel turned off, so you can see it forms an S like that. And this is the sort of thing that will be the output from our script. If I reset this unit, you will see that it is actually uh, a part of the boot up sequence, not there, not there, but now there you see the graphic that uh, I showed you uh, from the Arduino code here. So um, let's go to um, skahoy.com, free stuff, and uh, look at graphic display image converter.php. So what it tells you here is um, what it's intended to do. There's a link to the Adafruit graphics library and some of the electronic modules we produce, which has a, a display on it that um, will be uh, compatible with this tool. So you go to um, the folder with your files and I created a few files for us to test. There's a Batman logo, it looks like this. Um, there's a full color um, file, there's uh, a heart, a tulip, a Wi-Fi logo which is in, th in the original dimensions and the um, original Wi-Fi logo I found. Okay, so let's let's choose Batman. Let's choose Batman. So we just select Batman here and we press submit and it will tell you that the output dimensions are too big because you need to, de de to decide what size it should have. Um, we do have some default target dimensions, more will come in the future, but this would be if you own a smart switch and you want the file to fill out the whole smart switch, then basically um, this will just give you the width and the height of a smart switch. But what we might do in this case, because uh, we have a display where the graphics are, are rotated, um, as you saw, so and the, and the height of that display is uh, 32, uh, which is the width in our case. So we just press 32 and press submit. So what you see now is that we have a one-to-one -one size of the Batman logo, it looks like this. Then the double size of the logo, uh, it's just for your convenience that when you look at it on the, in the web browser here you can see more details, I don't know if it's helpful. You can also see what the original input image dimensions were and the output dimensions which are 32 by 16. And here is the code, so I just take this code, copy, go to Arduino and I paste, but um, just now that I paste, uh, be careful because you want to use the same, uh, or at least you want to, to notice the name, I call this image var name. So maybe let's say image underscore Batman, like that. And then we can uh, remove this section up here. 
Uh, also notice that there are here two defined um, uh, constants uh, with the width. Uh, we'll just type that in manually when we find it. So um, uh, here we have our Batman logo. And let's search for logo because further down in the code, this is the line where the graphic is uh, written to the display. So um, let's just uh, put in the name image Batman and the width was 32 and the height was 16. Uh, like that. And we upload. And then we see what happens on the controller when it's done uploading. Display and Batman. There you go. Okay, so um, what if uh, the Batman logo was in fact not an, an even 16 pixels wide, but something else? Um, for that, let's just choose the football club uh, logo here. So what you see now is that we have 32 times 30 pixels. So we can try that too. And uh, what happens is really that um, um, we have... Uh, Um, okay, sorry. Yeah, I was just confused for a moment because the width is 32, which is not a problem because 32 uh, is divisible by 8. So all the four bytes that specify each line of pixels, each row of pixels, will use also the final two bits. Uh, actually, the situation I was thinking about is what happens uh, because you, you have uh, eight bytes, obviously, specifying uh, a row of pixels. What happens if you have only uh, 28 pixels wide images, if you want that for some reason? And let's say we do, so I, I take um, 28, for instance, submit, and now we get um, an image 28 times 26, and then you can see the last uh, four pixels here are basically defined as ones. Okay, let's copy paste this code. Um, Like that, we call it image uh, FCB football FBC. That's it, football club, and that's 28 times 26. So let's go to the place where uh, the image is written. 28 times 26. Upload, and let's see what the result will be like. And there we go. Okay, so it's actually possible to do that as well. But uh, what I wanted to highlight is um, that we are actually using four bits extra and there's no way of saving that. So uh, if you, you could actually, if you set the width to, um, let's say 31 um, um, or 32, then um, if we do that, you'll see that we have uh, the additional four bits on the width of, um, of the display as well. I think, let me just um, remove some of the text that you see written to the display. It doesn't really make sense for us, does it? And um, what if you set it to, um, let's say 24. 24 means that we only need f uh, three bytes actually to represent the image. Will it then somehow discard the, the rest, or let's say 25, because then, then we are now using all four. So what happens with 25? That's interesting. Okay, and we look at the uh, display and we can see 25 also works, but it is cutting some of the logo off on the right side. If we set it to 24, which means that it's now down to only using three bytes in the width, then the graphics will be completely messed up. Okay, so these are actually sort of technical details. Um, but uh, you can upload various types of graphics and submit here and you'll get the code out. You can also have uh, hexadecimal output if you want uh, your code to look differently. I like the binary output a lot because it's, uh, it's so clear what you, um, uh, you can even, you can directly see what the graphic is all about, which I, I like a lot. Um, you can also, 
decide for uh, one like this one, the Wi-Fi logo, which is already in the dimensions 64 by 32. Uh, I did that because um, if I, and that was de de uh, designed for a smart switch. So on a smart switch, which has exactly those dimensions, I would like the output dimensions to be the same, basically. So if I remove this and submit, you see input and output will be the same. And then the conversion down to the true size of the image is done in Photoshop, where I have more control over how an image is um, converted to pure uh, bitmap black and white uh, pixels. Yes, and finally there's an invert option. If for some reason your code, um, this will be easier to see if it's binary output, then um, all the zeros in the code will now be a turned on pixel and the ones is a turned off pixel. So it's just inverting the image. So yeah, that's the graphic converter tool from Skahoy, provided as a free service to all your open source geeks out there. We love open source, open hardware ourselves. So you'll find that all our modules and so on is uh, open. We provide this for free because we like to, to help. And uh, it's a tool we use a lot, so why couldn't you use it a lot too? Really helpful and I hope you'll enjoy it.